So what is Tinder? It's a dating app. It's a place for boys to meet girls, or girls to meet girls, or boys to meet boys. Basically how it works is you open up the app, and then you slap your floppy dong on your cell phone screen until you accidentally swipe right on someone, and then boom. Match made in heaven. Together forever. Guaranteed sex. Bam! Tinder explained. And just so you know, there's another exclusive Fluffy Talks video over at my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Fluffy Talks. The Patreon is the lifeblood of this channel, keeping it alive. So do me a favor and go check it out. Hey, what's up? Blank, 21. Am I the prettiest girl you'll meet? Of course not. But am I funny? Well, no. But do I wake up every day and try to be a better person? Also, no. At least I'm honest. I think she nailed her profile, all right? Honesty is key. You should always be honest in your profile. Maybe not too honest. Blank, 19. I don't understand why people blank out names on Tinder. They think they're being like, all oh, gentlemanly-like and stuff, but it's only ever the first name. So it's not like you can dig up someone's information with their first name. Anyway, let's get into her bio. My family poops big. Maybe it's genetic, maybe it's our diet, but everyone births giant logs of crap. If anyone has laid a mega poop, you know that sometimes it won't flush. It lays across the hole in the bottom of the bowl, and the vortex of draining water merely gives it a spin as it mocks you. Growing up, this was a common enough occurrence that our family had a poop knife. It was an old rusty kitchen knife that hung on a nail in the laundry room, only to be used for that purpose. So why the fuck are you telling us this? I don't understand. Why are you telling us about your poop knife and how you have gigantic logs of poop? Maybe say something like, I don't know, like what your horoscope is, what you like to do, what your hobbies are, what you're looking for off of Tinder. Stop going into detail about your mega poops and your rusty poop knife. And if the poop knife gets rusty, Maybe you should replace your poop knife with a better one. I'm pretty sure this was some sort of meme or something that went viral on Reddit. Jim, 22. All right, well, Jim is gonna anally probe you, just so you know. And it's Tinder, so you know Jim is gonna anally probe you. Zach, 23. EMT. Holy shit, that's alarming. There is so much to take in in this one picture. It's a wannabe badass with a body pillow. All right, Zach. And he's an EMT. That's alarming. Your life may one day be in this man's hands. Take that in. This man may one day be helping save your life. Holy shit! Monsters also like to take pretty selfies. What the fuck? Where are your eyes? How are you seeing out of that? Obviously it's some sort of Halloween mask. I don't think that her face is really opening up and trying to eat you. When I was a kid, I was afraid of vaginas because I thought that they would open up and that's what was inside. True story. And then they made a movie about it called Teeth, which I will never watch because I don't want to have nightmares and I don't want to punch my wife in the vagina next time she takes her pants off. Lauren. 22, Netflix and anal. Straight to the point. That's what she wants. She wants to chill on Netflix and anal. Maybe you'd like Jim. Lana, 27. My name backwards, anal. Anal again. Sweet. Sweet. I just fucking love reading all the fucking anal off of Tinder. Makes me so happy. Octavia, 19. Professional gamer girl thinks I like anal memes. Come on. Again, with all the anal. This is every video. It's like the same thing. It's like... I'll just take all the anal ones and put them in a little group, and then I get to rant for a little bit. Sarah, 18. I'm 18. I'm just looking for hookups. I'm 5'9". Send messages for prices. Okay, that's a di there's a difference between just looking for hookups and being a hooker. You should change that to, I'm just looking for hookers. No, that doesn't make sense. I'm just looking to be a hooker. Yeah, not I'm just looking for hookups. Send messages for price. No anal, condoms only. Out call, no anal? Holy shit, my girl Sarah. Finally, that is the first time I've ever seen someone say no anal. Because she knows how Tinder is. She knows everyone's about the anal. You know what, I'm sorry. You be a hooker all you want, Sarah. Isabel, 20. Requests intercourse to bring me to climax with the clinical efficiency of the assassination of Bin Laden. She wants someone that knows how to get the job done. That's what she wants. She wants like that two minute sex but she wants it to be the best sex of her life. You know, just get in, get out, everybody orgasms, it's a great time. That's what I'm getting from this. I don't know if you had to drop Bin Laden's name to get that point across, but I see what you're saying. Used to give a damn, but never gave a fuck. Just want some love and cock. I give great top. I'm good with kids. Full package, I can bake. I make a pretty mean corn dog and I can make Twinkies from scratch. I'm a full package. Just fucking love and appreciate me. P.S. I'm the queen of sarcasm. Don't take it personally. That was the worst rap ever. Was that supposed to be a rap? I just, 
It, there was certain parts that rhymed, so it made me feel like it was a rap. I'll kill us both. I just don't care. All right. I bet you'll still match up with people. And then you're going to get into the bedroom with her, and she's going to be legitimately trying to kill you. And you're going to be like, what? What happened? I thought it was a joke. And she's like, no. I'm looking to do a murder-suicide here, okay? Natalie, 21. After a great first date, we head back to years for hot chocolate and missionary sex an average evening. I call a few days later. I'm pregnant. We do the right thing. Wedding after just four months. We have our first child. Adrian. He has a tough childhood and gets bullied in school. He leaves a virgin, finishes Cambridge with a first in microbiology, and pioneers a breakthrough in genes that cause cancer, thus curing it. Swipe right to cure cancer. How could you say no to that? Maximus Farquaad, 29. Do you know the Muffin Man? Alyssa, 19. Spring break, winky face, winky face. I love sushi, I'm 6'1", play volleyball, cheer occasionally, and I have a lip tat. Yeah, there's the curveball. What's the lip tat? That's what I want to know. Is it something nice? A nice little lip tat? Or is it this one? Sometimes I put sand in my undies to make my crabs feel at home. Okay. Well, that's disgusting. But I know all of you are like, well, whatever. Crabs are curable. I'll do it. Some of you will take that itchiness just to get with her. Just preemptively buy your crab shampoo if you're gonna swipe right on this girl. George Goshington, 24. Holy shit. I've never been so turned on in my life. I'm not a gay man but I'm pretty sure this guy could turn me gay. Turn me gay with his nunchuck skills. First date ideas. Both wear sumo suits and go to an indoor trampoline place and battle. Buy out an entire concert so it's just us in the crowd. Skydive into our dinner reservations. Dress in a polo and khakis. Go to the zoo and tell fake facts about the animals. Rent a Lamborghini. Fake kidnapping in public. Invade Poland. Get coffee like boring people. I'm gonna take the dress in polo and khakis go to the zoo and tell fake facts about the animals. That sounds like a great time. Either that or the sumo suits and an indoor trampoline. That sounds pretty good too. I don't know if you're a man or a woman because all I can see is your Adidas legs, but uh, I don't give a shit. Let's go on a date. You sound like a fun person. James, 28. Gotten a bit chubby, don't be shallow. If gym and looking good is your life, you're sad. Please fuck off, been there, done that, and yeah. Everyone kisses your ass. Society is hypocritical and sad. Don't waste your fucking life thinking about yourself, your pleasures, and your ego. It's pathetic. And if you're chasing rich guys or a better life through your partner's finances, you're pathetic. And Instagram? Well, fuck that narcissistic shit. Also, stop chasing status. It's so pathetic. This is the guy that's on Tinder that's like, why is no one matching with me? Why don't I ever get any matches? I don't understand it. I put myself out there and nobody wants to go on a date with me. Well, James, you're coming off like a prick. Maybe put some nice things in there instead of just calling people pathetic and calling them out on their bullshit. This is where you're supposed to put all the stuff that people read and they're like, wow, I really like him. You think someone's going to read through this and be like, wow, he tells it like it is. That seems like a great person for me to go on a date with. You're supposed to put some nice things about you. Stop being such a bitter fuck. You're just being a bitter fuck. That's what you're being. All right, now here is the second stage of Tinder again, where you find the person you like, you guys match up, and you start sending your messages. So again, here are some of the messages, some ideas for you on how to initiate a conversation, how to get yourself in there, how to get your foot in the door. Let's have a little look-see. I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're like, I have a feeling these aren't gonna help me much. Well, you're right. Let's do it. What's up? Coolin', what's up with it? Just at work. That's G, I feel it. Where you work, lol, and no, I'm not a creep. I promise I'll send you my address and everything. I'm sorry, I'm not interested. I'll talk to you never. You can pretty much tell everything about this guy just from the way he typed those messages. I bet he had a chance until he started speaking. That's some guy's problems. You know, they look good on the outside, they have a good profile, then they start spewing bullshit from their mouth. And it, it's a really easy way to tell who a person is once they start talking. Like when someone is using I, like eyeball, instead of the letter I, that is some obnoxious fucking shit. And I guarantee that's the reason she saw how he started typing. She was like, oh, fuck no. Fuck that shit. I cannot deal with this guy. Hi. How are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty well. Celebrating three weeks sober. Oh, congratulations. That's great. I loved your pictures, by the way. Aw, thanks. I like your photo of the bridge. Reminds me of when I was talked out of jumping. Oh, thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Oh, um. I'm glad you didn't. I'm not. This is more of like a what not to do. Like, never bring up a suicide attempt in your first little chat. Like, when you first talk to someone, don't be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. 
what's new with you? Well, you know, one, one time I tried to kill myself and I'm pretty sad that it didn't go through. Like, that's not going to make someone be like, wow, you're a real open person. No, they're going to they're gonna be terrified of you. Damn, girl. You shit with that ass? What? Hey, sorry, autocorrect is wild. You're lucky you're cute. That's your way out of saying you just correct any of your lines there, right? If you say some fucked up shit, you're just like, oh, fucking autocorrect. <laughs> Am I right? There, that's your failsafe. It's like everyone has a do-over if they just drop that line. Have anyone ever called you Big Dick Nick? Only my sister. <laughs> Don't do that. All right. I'm trying to teach you how to use Tinder more properly. That's not how you do it. Don't bring incest up in your first chat with someone. Some people aren't into incest. I'm saying, I think most people aren't into incest. Okay, just Tinder. Not this. I'm trying to teach you how to use Tinder better. That's not how you fucking use it. Basically, if you're a man on Tinder, what you do is you open up the app and then you slop your...